here which is very surprising yes uh, the college is also multilingual because we have a radio over here and that radio is for five languages that is hindi english tamil telugu and malayalam and so since uh, i forgot to mention that you are a singer i'm so sorry for this but sir can we start your interview with a little song if you can sing a little song okay all right <clears throat> i'll sing this song for those people who miss their hometown uh, it's called mitti di khushboo jado ambara barasya pani mitti di khushboo mitti di khushboo mitti di khushboo aayi wonderful sir so sir how is the campus over here it's absolutely lovely in fact i have uh, you know i've spent lot of years of my college for, for fests uh, i've been to iit bombay to bits pilani and lot of fest for theater for music and debates and uh, i think the the best vibe in any college is during the fest and i think it's it's, it's actually the break time for you guys also because you are uh, techies and you work really hard and these four days must be like lot of fun and frolic for you guys okay so you have given the word techies to us but they are uh, people who are here who want to switch to another field they are singers who are here they are also composers who are here so what message do you want to give to them i think just follow your passion and you don't have to take out time for your passion because if it's your passion the time organically comes out and uh, of course apart from that you have to be academically really strong because if you're following a certain art there's no you know there's no backing you know there's no there's no i don't know there's no uh, if you're like really good then you're exposed to uh, opportunities otherwise i think you should be you should have a plan b as well at the same time but uh, just give a full hearted uh, uh, passion towards your towards your craft So we have seen you so many faces of yours but when you were around 10 or 10 year old or let's say 15 year old what was your ambition to be means what you would like to be in future uh when i was 15 i i was going through various phases i wanted to be an astronaut then i was wanted to be an architect then a lawyer but in my heart i always wanted to be an actor singer but during that time you know in chandigarh in a small town you you will never confess this that you want to be an actor or a singer uh so i had taken medical in 11th and 12th I appeared for Karnataka CET also, okay. and got to admission in BDS in some remote college in Karnataka, which I don't want to mention. Uh, so, <laughs> so after the, you know, but later I realized that I should I should join arts and follow my passion. So I joined uh, English literature, studied English literature in graduation, then started journalism post graduation, did theatre for five years, radio for two years. I uh, was uh, also following music at the same time. So I think yeah, I followed my heart eventually. That's wonderful sentence that follow your heart. So you have sung so many songs. Which song is the favorite? Most favorite of yours? I think of course Pani Darang is my favorite song because that was the composition we made in 2002 in college and uh, we waited for like take good 10 years uh before getting it uh, before it got a break in Wiki Donor. Yeah, that's my favorite song yeah. of course. Yeah. And sir, who is the inspiration of yours for the full career? I think it has to be Kishore Kumar. I think he was the most versatile performer ever he used to change his voice for different actors and uh, i think he's the only bona fide actor singer we have in the country i think rest we are mostly either actors or singers he started as an actor became a singer then became a full time singer eventually but now i think i'm more of an actor than a singer but i think I've, i'm i'm equally dedicated to both the crafts so what message would you like to pass to young minds which are there who are here in our campus that what should they do to offer to to the community uh in fact you'll be surprised i started my career as a presenter on a community radio station that's wonderful <laughs> it was in maika amdabad and there was a small village called vishala uh chela sorry there was a small village called chela okay. close to amdabad and it had a radius of around maybe 10 kilometers and we used to do shows for the villagers and uh, of course i think since this is english i don't know whether uh, these pockets they follow this language or not so we have five languages english hindi tamil telugu and uh, malayalam so mostly we consider with the tamil only and english only so tamil is a base so as to make people understand over here and english is a base so as to make students understand over here and vit community radio 90.8 fm is a link between community and students i think radio as a medium is very unique in its nature because with you have smartphones these days you have television sets but still radio has not died it's still flourishing because i think it's a it's a very active medium you can listen to radio while going in the car without you know digressing from whatever you're doing because when when you're watching a tv you have to concentrate while listening to radio you don't have to concentrate much you can drive and listen to radio at the same time so i think it's a very wonderful medium at the same time i think you should invite 
people who are the opinion leaders of the society who uh, who who probably uh, can bring some changes through their messages or probably something unique they're doing in the community for example if you go to the farmers they are they are they have smartphones now or they are, they are, or they are uh, using certain techniques for farming i think they can be of great use for people who are listening and also students should take uh, part in this as well probably impart technical knowledge because you are you are techies as, as i said <laughs> and uh, maybe help them learn english as well at the same time because english is one such language in a country which is most it's it's a common thread common yeah it's it's not hindi i think it's english because we have 40 odd languages in the country and uh, i think you guys can do a lot uh, for for these people and we call it social responsibility that you should own up and behave like a responsible citizen apart from doing your own job or studying you should take part in these things as well okay and so so you were there in validatory function so how was the crowd of vit over here i think they're full of enthusiasm and i love the energy of people over here uh the best part is it's it's really cosmopolitan and i spoke in hindi and i was i was actually prepared to speak in english because i thought it's it's going to be down south velor <laughs> what are the odds but i was surprised that mostly people speak in hindi over here and uh, but but i'm glad that they're, they're different they're from different communities different religions regions and they are all studying together and uh, i have this love for cultures Uh, wherever i go i go taste local food i uh, try to you know include certain vocabulary uh, words in my vocabulary from the local language and okay, so, so i'll teach you two words in tamil that is ama means yes and illai means no okay ama and illai yeah ama and illai na to mujhe pata hai pata tha okay so sir apart from hindi and english do you know any other language uh, I I know Kannada not don't know Kannada but I know few lines in Kannada because Nikhil Chinappa is a very good friend of mine we uh, we started anchoring on uh, DC uh, together and so I know like worldly hurga worldly hurgi and naru nashta pertini and yeah stuff like that so I know certain lines of every single language I'm playing a Bengali in my next film so I was learning Bengali I've also played a Maharashtra in a film so I've learned Marathi as well so I think if you have this knack of catching languages it always helps you uh, travel the length and breadth of the country and connect with the people more thank you so much you gave a wonderful message at last that be versatile and speak so many languages if you can because languages will help you in future and apart from this follow your passion and if you are not looking for engineering now if you are switching if you are looking to switch to any kind of singing or composing then you can proceed with and just follow your passion and help the community also so thank you ayushman sir on connecting to vit community radio 90.8 fm we wish you all the best for future thank you so much ayushman sir <laughs> Thank you. So this was me Himanshu Mangani for our show Celebrity Show and keep listening to VIT Community Radio 90.8 FM. Thank you.